All right. All right, all right. Looks like we're rolling strong. We are on Road Grand Tours. This is Jason Flores. Today, we are doing Endurance Lab 1310 High Cadence Drills. That means one minute on, three minutes off, 10 intervals that we're doing today. We're gonna go one minute at high intervals. We're gonna really push it up, really get those watts up, find those gears. We'll be doing the warm up in ERG, but everything else outside of ERG, or just keep it simple and just stay out of G, the, e, out of ERG the whole time. All right, we're gonna get this started here. We'll make this happen. All right, let's get dialed in again. This is Jason Flores here from TeamODZ.com. I've got Trainer Road running here on the bottom side. We are going to get started with this ride here. Let's ride from the beginning if I can. Ride from Pienza. We'll choose that. We'll load up the Road Grand Tours. All right, and here we go. All right. Let's make sure we get this all shared out to everybody. All right, looks like the stream's coming through. Get everybody some good views. What we're looking at there. Get the legs warmed up. Get ready to go to have a good workout. This is a skills workout for everybody here. That means we're really going to be focused on the, on that high cadence. Got a little more moment, moment as we warm things up. Get the legs going. Uh oh, I think we have a. Hi, what up is this? Good morning, Stig. This is Road Grand Tours, my friend, Road Grand Tours. And yeah, check them out at roadgrandtours.com. Also check out their Facebook group. Let's see, we are getting this shared out to our partners. Make sure everything is streaming strong. So far, so good. Thanks for joining in. All right, so of course we're on is uh, Pienza. A couple static jumps here. Is Pienza in Italy? Some nice rural roads here. Let's see what's going on with the internet speeds. Let's see if we can free some of this up. A couple things hanging up here. Not too bad. So this is also still in beta. Been doing a great job as well on this platform. Gonna get a chance to see this whole course. They are on the short sides. So you will get a chance to see kind of all of it. All right, first share is out. Thanks for joining in everybody. We're getting this shared out to our partners. Thanks for to them for letting us and making this happen, allowing us to get this content out to you guys. Really excited to maybe be able to bring you all different platforms in indoor cycling. All right, workout wise, if you missed the beginning here. What we're looking at is really working on cadence today. High cadence, one minute at a time, with the legs warmed up, and we'll make this happen. All right, and one more here. All right. There we go. I like it, I like it. All right. We're gonna get Cadence wound up. Almost, shares are almost all out. We'll make that happen real quick. We'll get back to you guys. So, let me put down a little bit about what this workout is. 
really working on cadence and high spins today. And then for everyone else, if it's been, it's your first time on, first time checking us out here at Team ODZ live and in the endurance lab workout, let us know what you think. Second wise, hey, graphics are nice. Brittany Nicole, welcome. Thanks for joining in. Here's a little bit about the workout. We'll get that, oops, unpin this one. All right, so this is Road Grand Tours. We'll see if we can uh, spin you around and get you some views here. All right, right now in the warm up, making sure I've got all the watts coming. All right, looking good there. I like it. All right, looking good. Get that legs warmed up and moving. Got lots of cadence work to do if you're riding along. If you're from the endurance lab. You've got this loaded up right next to your game. Got me in the ear. We're gonna take some nice one minute stretches at high cadence. Really push it up. Really challenging yourself. You notice the speeds here, and the engines that create that background, they're moving a lot quicker in this game. You can see it there. It's looking pretty good. Pretty interesting. It's all downhill here. <laughs> I like it. It all spun up. Oh, look at that. Breaking for that corner. You see that in the top corner here, right above my head. You see the draft effect, power history, where the power was taken away from you and the speed was brought down for those corners. You can see where that happens. So in a racing situation, hey, good morning, Eric. Thanks for joining in. Just having some fun, getting some workout in. I know you like to do early morning workouts. We get a chance looking here, we're in Pienza, Italy, checking out the views. Pretty interesting. Just kind of spinning around, looking all ways in the field. Not as many riders as we used to. We got some comments on that earlier. But definitely views and smoothness. Looking pretty good. All right, so back to the workout here. Going through all the paces. Yeah, you gotta give it, gotta give it all, right? In order to be able to to know them well, you gotta be able to give a chance just to know what's good, what works, and really just offer everything to your riders as far as advice, input, where really they're gonna find their benefits. This is true. All right. So a lot of these riders you'll notice, I've noticed at least, that don't have flags are paced riders. So here's something really cool. Let me speed up here. You can actually see pacing benefit as I roll up on him. Real steady, whoops. We'll kind of go through it. So it is kind of finicky here. Let me line up on him. And you can see it work. So what I'll do is I'll drop in. And you'll see that 1% go up to four. And even higher here. 58, 93, and really got to control it to stay with him. Kind of the same way you would. If you overpower it, you end up in front of someone. So what you'll do is you'll actually really dial this in. We are going uphill, aren't we? <laughs> That's true. You can see his watts per kilogram going steady too. Chad McNeese, one of our legends on a Trainer Road, thanks for joining in, buddy. 
All right, we're just playing around with cadence here. About to get this workout done. And uh, just kind of checking out the drafting features here in Road Grand Tours. Does it upload to Strava? Good question. It does. Strava, one more. Garmin, I want to say. Strava for sure. I'll double check here when I load out, but Strava for sure. I've had to do that. So, right now, we are on our warm up here. Get those legs ready. Workout is going to entail one minute spin ups. If you're riding along with me, whatever platform you're in, dial in that time. You see that time there at the top, we're nine minutes, 55 seconds in. We're about to be 10 minutes in two, one, zero. Log that time in. Make sure your time matches on your workout, and you'll get the cues from me. You get to talk through from me, legend. Oh man, Chad, come on. If the trainer road, um, uh, uh, if the trainer road podcast talks about you, and they're the number two cycling podcast on iTunes, you're a legend, my friend. And Timo DZ is happy to be associated with you. <laughs> You've done some great things for the community. Their side, our side, all around, man. So watch this. Rider's gonna break. See my number turn red? Power comes off, speed comes down, and then I turn. Really interesting. Really interesting. Yeah, that's good. It's a good, that is a good, um, good comparison. Rally sims, rally simulations back in the day. Watching and racing. So, all right, we're almost through this warm up. I'm gonna drop this out of ERG. I'm gonna give our chance, ourselves a chance to really spin up today. So goals are not so much hitting these wattage goals. Get close, but you do not need to overshoot. We're not trying to max out. What we're trying to do is just hit the goals of cadence today. Recover appropriately, and then go from there. That's the goal today, all right? At 30 seconds. Oh yeah. Chad says it's fun all around. Oh yeah. See people using your tools, watching your videos, getting something out of them, really giving back. I think for a lot of us, it, it motivates us to stay on the bike, to keep, get work going, doing stuff. Absolutely. All right. All right, we're gonna wind this down just a bit. Feeling good. I switch views. Looking good. Legs should be feeling kind of warm. Really looking good. This is not a power workout. We're not shooting for top power goals. What we're shooting for is focusing on skills here, painting skills. Also, to get a better understanding, of really, how to use the tools that we have. So I'm using Trainer Road to make this work. You could easily just jump on and get your workout in. You know. Use the terrain here, the ups and the downs. You see it in the top corner up there, the grade's coming up. And if you were running on ERG, you'd see that grade come up, that resistance come up in your trainer. Or for those that are on, um, that aren't on smart trainers, what you'll find is that you'll need to put more wattage up to get there faster. So what we recommend is to get out of ERG, get the chat open, um, get out of ERG, and what it'll allow you to do is really open up those cadences and be able to focus and learn those cadence variances that are so, so important. Ah, uh, here we go. Very nice. All right, so our first interval is coming up in about one minute. We're gonna roll this up. We're gonna find a cadence. I normally run about 90, 95. 
So I'm gonna challenge myself. It is a minute, but it does take some time. Welcome, Team ODZ. Just got published to there. All right. Target's gonna be around 300 watts. We need plenty of gears here to make this happen. We'll go one minute, high cadence, really focus, shoulders down, elbows in, hands loose, or engaged. Really grab that front bar. Good morning, Eric. How's it going? Welcome to Rogan Tours. We are in Pienza, Italy. Headed to the start finish line. I'm gonna do my first interval of 100 RPM plus for one minute. We're about there. Get a couple gears here. Spin it up. All right. Oop, a little too high. <laughs> Get that cadence up. We've got one minute here. Remember, we're not trying to match that power. Really just working on getting that cadence. There you go. Play with those gears. We are in resistance mode. So really got to find that right gear. We got to get that flywheel spun up too. You're going to remember this gear. Same one you're going to use over and over again. Jump that cadence. Here we go. About halfway through. Looking good. Nice job. All right. About eight seconds to go. Keep those legs moving. All right, look down, remember that gear. See how many it takes to get this out. Four. All right, I'm four gears from the top. All right. There you go. Back to regular cadence. Three minutes recovery here. <laughs> Stig is worried about hydration for my avatar. No water bottles. <laughs> yeah, no automatic drink movements. We don't want our guys to dehydrate. Maybe since the workout's less than an hour, then uh, we're good. We'll go for the weight savings. Bill Shanker, back again. Morning to you. Surprised you're not out riding. <laughs> good reminder though. Looking good. All right. Let's see if we can get some forward views here. Five, six. Matus. Good morning to you, buddy. Thanks for joining in. We're headed up one of the climbs here, the wall in uh, Pienza, Italy here. Working on our pedaling skills today. All right. All right, so remember, that slope, if we were out of ERG, you'd be able to feel that in your smart trainer coming up this hill. Even though the courses are short, there's not so good, lots of good climbs. There's some straight climbs, steady strong with some really nice views. There's also some repeating ones, like this one, which is pretty short if I remember, about two miles. One thing about this platform, one, it is in beta, but from what I hear, the plans are to stay in the free model, but paying for things as we go. But you know, things can always change, but things to watch out for. A lot of really popular gaming platforms at this time are like that. You'll see that in games like Fortnite and some other games where the base platform kind of with no skins, that sort of thing. And then as you level up, you can buy separate things. Let's say for us, it would be like bikes, kits, tires to go faster, that sort of thing. All right, high cadence, spin it up. Let's go, one minute. Find that gear. You know which one it is already. 
So get right to it. There you go. Find it. Stay loose. Use it. You got 45 seconds here. Make those legs fly. We just got shared out to endurance lab. Thank you. Come on. Make those legs fly. Shoulders down. Elbows loose. Really keep that core engaged. Really push it. 30 seconds. Get that cadence up. Come on. Come on. 17 seconds. Come on. Water just stays up. Cadence stays high. You've got this. Looking good. There we go. Three seconds. All right. I'll spin that down. Great job. That's what we like to see. You're right up to that cadence. Really challenge yourself and back yourself up. So far, so good. Looking really good right now. All right. So if it's your first time on or checking out Road Grand Tours, definitely let us know what you think. If you've got questions, let me know. My name is Jason Flores. I ride with TeamODZ.com, virtual cycling team from all over the world. I'm also a coach for the Endurance Lab. That's one of the workouts that we're doing today. We're working out on high cadence. If you've got any questions about the platform, about the workout, anything let us know ian thanks for the thumbs up and the like welcome you just joined to join in us in we're headed up the hill here in pienza coming up on a couple riders a lot of these are ghost riders you'll see their uh, flags come up most riders pull flags when uh, they are riding kind of the first things you do as you set up your guy, so. Feeling good here. I do like this view, especially for streams. Download link for Rogue Grand Tours? Stig, sure, let me see what I can do to help you out. Sure. Just in between intervals, you can make this happen. All right. A direct leak. Oh, oops. my mic sorry Pienza Italy Pienza Italy 
one of the newer courses, one of the new courses here on Road Grand Tours. Earlier was uh, well, last week did a course on uh, was in Belgium. So it's a good one though. I like it. I need to take off that quick key of uh, muting myself. Getting hit too many times. Too many times. Hot keys. Huh. Uh. Where are you? So yeah, how does it compare to Zwift? A couple things. Um, I was on some earlier uh, streams where people said, it does feel kind of lonely? But then we kind of got to, into the conversation of, in fact, when we do go outdoors, in fact, we don't typically see, unless we're on a group ride, that many people, right? So it's kind of interesting. Okay, good. Oh, so let me finish the question. So first thing, it does can feel, or it does feel a little less amount of people. But you know what? If the background was engaging enough and the course was challenging enough, I think it definitely take it to that next level. So Ian's asking for this workout, is the course controlling the resistance or the workout? Right now, I have the workout loaded in Trainer Road, controlling, controlling my trainer. But you could easily do it oppositely where the course was. Only problem is, for example, on this, or let's say sweet spot, you're going downhill. It would need a great amount of overspeed or really spinning it up. Pienza. Yeah. Daniel's asking what course it is, right? Pienza, Italy. Some nice rural roads. But yeah, if in fact the course dictated, I think you could do steady workouts on courses like this. But you, you tell me. I mean, Ian puts workouts to riders just like I do. I'd really like when riders are indoors, use the variability of the workout and the scenery. And then when we're doing steady workouts, we can use the terrain. It just comes problematic when you're going downhill is my only thing. All right, 20 seconds to the next one. All right, 10 seconds, find those gears. We're what, three up. Three, all right. Let that fly will come up on speed. Let that cadence come up. There you go. Really push it, really push it. Stay loose, shoulders down, elbows tight. Rubbing right up against your knees. Stay really relaxed. Let those legs, let them fly. Really feel you lift the weight off the opposite leg. Nice. Right. Same problems you would face trying to do a workout, <laughs> trying to do a workout outdoors if you let the road. But here's an idea. What if we could load workouts and every one minute I went up a little riser for one minute and then the road turned down or went even for recovery and then repeated. But the scenery was like what we see now. You think that would be interesting? That's something to think about. Was if the course was designed around, if the course was designed custom workout. So we've got three minutes of flat, let's say, and it knows reading the workout that we need one minute of incline of sorts to do an interval. And it goes up for one minute and then repeats itself. Now that is something. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> but yeah, Ian asks, why are you wearing a shirt? Yeah, some of the streaming companies kind of uh, poo poo on uh, naked guys on their stream. It was <laughs> I'm still working on my Ian bod. I've been off for a couple of days. Food poisoning, second time this winter season. I had to stop eating not eating the uh, non-in-season foods, pretty bad. Last one was from uh, 
Salad, seafood cob, horrible. Two and a half days out, no, no appetite, no energy. It was horrible. So I'm back. About a week off training. Oh, I'll say three or four days, but just as good. But still got some of the endurance stuff done at the beginning. Yeah, so the workouts here, just to be clear, is not in Road Grand Tours. The workout is being run in Trainer Road. And the reason why is this platform doesn't have the ability to work, uh, to put workouts in. Good morning, Nate. Nate Scott from Team ODZ just logging in. Good morning. Thanks for jumping in and saying hi. This is Road Grand Tours with Trainer Road Workout. But what about when I want to do sprint workouts? Picking the road uphill. You're right. That's a good point. What do you think, what do you think about a slight incline? Or, yeah, I guess it would really have to matter. So then what you would have to do, let's see. You'd have to, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of the code of your workout. If it was a short anaerobic effort, it would need less incline than, let's say, uh, 110 VO2 or a threshold, which could use more incline because you wouldn't do an anaerobic effort uphill for 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah. So to Alex Vergara's question, creating workouts, again, you can't load these from Training Peaks. I'm loading these through Training Trainer Road up there in front, which I am a Trainer Road user as well. So hi, Cadence. Ian's asked me to solve all the problems. I feel like you're digging for me to answer all your questions. Let's see. What else? Hold on. Hi, Cadence. All right. So hi, Cadence. Uh, maybe we could read. Uh, we could read in the in the Zwoke, in the ERG code instructions of high cadence and low wattage. But then that would mean anytime you code for an interval, we have to say at what cadence, which can sometimes be irritable, irritating, and get irritable for riders. Come on. Remember, I'm just a doctor during the daytime. And sometimes I stay at Holiday Inns, but it doesn't make, doesn't make it that I have all the answers. But we're getting close. I'm pretty good information so far. Eight seconds. Come on, push it. Three, two, one. Nice job. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I guess you could somehow tie cadence cues and percent of target versus threshold. There has to be something numerical that it looks at, but it would have to be working really fast if it was doing it on the fly or it have, <laughs> exactly. Or it'd have to have some really good set values to know by what could work. But that's really, you know, solving a problem that a lot of us don't deal with. Because when we come for a workout, we're not looking for the road to match exactly, right? Hey James, thanks for joining in. A question, James says RGT looks pretty slick. What do you normally ride, um, James? So, <sighs> Was I saying? Oh yeah. So we're not always looking for the road to typically match. You know, a lot of times when we're indoors, you're looking to be able to hit target wattages. Well, for example, in our workout today, hit target cadences on any road, on steady rides, endurance rides, that sort of bike, that sort of thing. You know, you may want to just get some endurance miles in, low zone two, hopefully. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah, it, you can go up and down, play with cadences, all that sort of thing. Races, you want that sort of thing. It to be, you know, have those gradients. Yep, just let me control the resistance. Keep it simple. That's what us coaches have been doing for years, all the way back to trainer road days. They've been a long time 
That's why they're a workhorse. James says he's a watt bike. Adam on Zwift. Beautiful setup, James. I'd love to see what that looks like. The Adam bike I hear is very, very good. To Zwift. Yeah, a lot of us start Zwift riders too. Team ODZ started out on Zwift. You know, love to play, you know, get a chance to try out all indoor platforms. We're actually beta on most between Road Grand Tours, Vertigo, Rovi, here. Big ring for a little bit. What else is there, Ian? What else have we tried? There's another one that Ian's tried way back when. Yeah, so back to Ian's comment, it may be just a bit gimmicky for the the, the road changing, or, but it's a thought. People could bring it up all the time, you know, but that is the thought. But, oh, okay, it's up. Yeah, but I think just taking out the, the road, which is what riders have done, excuse me, is what games have done, and just put the correct resistance in and not let the course resistance somehow magically bleed in. I think could be really good. Tour de Giro. That's the other one that Ian's used. Hey, Patrick Tan. Good morning. One of our Zwift rider friends. Big streamer. Great ride leader there. We're looking for a steady, solid ride. Patrick Tan, he's your ride leader. You know that course and that ride is going to be steady. Great stream too. All right. Got eight seconds on high cadence. We'll bring it back. Come on. All right. Oh, and be cool. Yes. I've been getting emails about that too. Yeah. Be cool is another one. So there are plenty in the game, you know? And being able to get on the way we kind of test them is, at least what I do, is I'll load them up against how we do workouts in Trainer Road. <laughs> 10 hours behind the steering wheel, Patrick Tan says. I need to do some uh, stretching, my friend. I thought he was going to say 10 hours on the bike. That would have been uh, much more honorable. Uh, Ian says, vehicles graphics rival RGT, but the interface is garbage. You know, it's odd. As we learn to do, or we do more and more of these, interfaces and the ease to set things up and change settings. Um, I was on a stream um, just before this talking about Vertigo and they've got a game optimization engine. You can hit the button. It'll go through all the stats and run these tests, these graphic tests on your computer through the game. All the menus, all the screens, it takes about a minute and it'll change the game settings to get your best to get your best uh, experience through the game. So definitely we'll be back for that, to check that out. So, uh, interesting. For the Road Grand Tours, you've got that frames per second here right above my head in the corner, and you could really dial it in. Something really nice to be able to see. And the other things here, you've got power benefit and drafting benefit. Drafting hasn't changed too much, um, but it's getting better. Looks like Justin Wagner's on. Morning to you, my friend. James, morning. Got a dash. Dropped your message. I'll take a look. All right, James. I'll take a look at that message. All right. Justin, thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the like. Glad you could join in. Love to see more of your streams here on Team ODZ Live. We're getting back. Getting back to it. You want to see that wagon on here. As long as we're not talking about secret stuff. I know that wagon's got secret information it gives out. Old school rides with steady leaders, steady paces. <sighs> Looking good. What do we got, what do we got? About 17 seconds to the next one. We're about halfway through folks, four left. Here we go. We're gonna spin this up. Here we go. Hold this way. <laughs> All right, spin it up. Get that cadence. 
110 plus. Come on. Get that cadence up. Come on. Alan Jean Lowe, good morning from Twitter. This game is Road Grand Tours. It's an indoor cycling simulation game. I'm doing workouts on it right now. I'm in the middle of an interval, about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go, and I'm doing high cadence. That means we're spinning these pedals as fast as I possibly can for one minute strong, and then recover. Thanks for joining in. Almost there. Stay nice and relaxed. Stay low. Make those legs work. Seven seconds. Nice job. Ian's gonna go run and swim. Yeah. All right, have a good workout, Ian. Thanks for joining in. Ooh. Little sparkling water, mid interval. A lot of these wattages are all below threshold for those riders riding along. So, not huge efforts here. Really, really skills based. So, remember that. Looking good. We've got three left here, okay? Really focus. Really focus. All right, so let's see. We're talking about power history. Up at the top, you notice there's a half red, half gray line. Anytime you see red is where the game actually forces you to slow down. And what it does is it corners and natural things like that where really power or speed can't be pushed through it slows you down. The green line, once you come up on riders, you'll get draft benefit. If you could dial that in, which I think still needs quite a bit of work to be able to get that draft benefit closer to how it is in real life, I think it's important. But it'll tell you what percentage of draft you're working with. Getting a little long in the saddle here. I definitely make sure that I'm up, out of the saddle, and allowing myself to get some relief here, especially indoors. We're doing great. About 40 minutes into this workout, we got about 15 minutes left. Not much left. Three intervals for you folks. Three intervals left for you. Whew. You got questions about Road Grand Tours, Endurance Live Workouts, Team ODZ, whatever you got, I'm here for you. My name is Jason Flores. I ride with Team ODZ. It's an international virtual cycling group. You can find us at teamodz.com. I'm also USA certified cycling coach for Endurance Lab. And you can reach us at endurancelab.fit. Setup we've got going on is Road Grand Tours in the background. And then we've got Trainer Road running the workout there on the top, top center there. Got three intervals left. Seven. Five. All right, let's spin it up. Come on. Spin it up. Hop, 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 hop. 110 plus. Hold it steady. Shoulders down. Elbows in. Get that cadence up. Get those sit bones planted. Feel it. Find where that's at. Right in that sweet spot zone. Push yourself here. Good job. Really push. Come on. 20 seconds. Don't let the power drop. Really keep that cadence up. Really push. This is uncomfortable for a reason. You're making those connections. Those neuromuscular connections. Come on. Seven, six, here we go. Three, two, nice. Nice, 
Two left. Uh, two more. So even though the effort's not super high, the interval of power is not, it's very taxing on your neuromuscular system. Getting those connections, the ability for yourself to be able to spin at these higher cadences are super key. All right, looks like we're coming up on that corner. I wanted to show you guys. Should be right after this right. All right. Yeah, so even though the wattage targets aren't very high, what happens is, is that the body is taxed quite a bit. All right, what's my speed? Uh, 9.3, oh, corner's a little further down. As far as simulations go, it's pretty nice. The engine isn't backing up on, you know, stuff in the background, even on the review view here. It's looking pretty good. And the panning view here. I'll leave this one on for a bit. So one of the hardest things for these gaming engines to do is pan and be able to keep up with the zoom effect and this 3D effect that it has as it gets close and far away. But it's a really good test of the, the engines to be able to do this sort of thing. So you get a chance to see how well it renders. Yeah, Patrick Tan is a good question. We chatted about this earlier. So there's two ways. Right now, I put it into workout mode. So it's what you would know as, you know, ERG mode. So that means right now, it's, it would hold you to the 170 watts, let's say. And then when the wattages goes up, the resistance will change accordingly. Outside of a workout, you'll get the percentages and the grades according to the slope on that top corner. So it works just the same. Or the problem or the part that's missing is there's no workout module or workout mode yet in this game. You could just ride around with the percent slope. So if you've got your smart trainer and we're going up right now at 8.5%, you're gonna get 8.5% on your trainer doing loops on this Pienza course in Italy. So yes, the answer yes. But is it, does it have workout mode? The answer is no. But can you ride around? Let's go. Can you ride around and get those changes? You can. Yes, you can. So 10.3 will be 10.3 if I was outside of essentially ERG workout mode. Come on. Spin that baby up. 115. Come on. Let's go. About 30 seconds left. Really push this. We've only got two left. Make them count. Make that neuromuscular system really work. Oh. Ten seconds. Really relax that lower back. You're gonna start feeling this soon. Ten seconds. Stay relaxed. Breathe. Come on. Three, two, one. Bend down. Ooh, one leg. Nice job. You got one left. Good questions though, Patrick. Good questions. The one added feature that it does have is the, the drafting, the slowing down at corners, which we do have a little bit on Zwift, right? On corners, but definitely not close. The Beetlejuice from Twitch. Have you ridden the Slevio yet? Just trying to mix, to mix in questions of lesser quality. <laughs> no, no, not, not a lesser quality at all, Beetlejuice. Thanks for joining in, by the way. No, haven't done Slevio. I've done uh, uh, the new one, the Paderberg in Belgium, and today did this one. I've done 
I typically do ones that are looped versus the ones that go straight up um, and down just for variation and to show the viewers. But you know what? How about I do that one next up, next workout? I'll do one that goes straight up during a workout. So most of the time, if you show I'm breaking here, see that? The, red, the numbers go red on that right-hand turn. So yeah, um, I, I'll definitely do one of those to get a feel for each of the courses. So typically I do workouts for our riders in the endurance lab that actually play these videos during their workouts and get talked through kind of what's going on in their workout. But yeah, background, love to test new stuff, get a chance to show you guys what's out there. Yeah, definitely stay tuned to that. We're on all the channels, we're on Mixer, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, check us out. Team ODZ Live is what we're looking at. You can find more about the workouts if you're a cycling nerd like I am and love to do workouts at endurancelab.fit or check out teamodz.com for more about our international virtual cycling team. All right, we've got one interval left and then a cool down. All those riders riding along, thanks for joining in. If you're just tuning in, watching it, thanks for joining in. If you have questions about Road Grand Tours, anything about the workouts, anything about the rides, let me know. I've got Road Grand Tours for the views. i got Trainer Road up there in the center running the workout. Road Grand Tours, as of yet, does not have a workout mode, but I'm sure it's up their sleeve somewhere. All right, got 12 seconds till our last interval. We're really gonna push this up. 115 plus is the goal, Andy Jenner would say. 120, or don't come back to the team. Let's we'll see what I can do. Let's get it up. Come on. All right. It's really key to relax those legs. Really get the weight off of the back of the pedal. To really let that pedal come around. Ah. Good, good point. If there are more epic climbs in the virtual world, would you be willing to be able to ride them? What if it didn't cost anything, Beelzeus? And when you wanted to buy a new bike, a lighter bike, cooler kit, that's when you put money in. Just like in real life. Would you do that? I feel like more and more the games of these days. Hold on, come on. Two, one, ooh. That more and more the games of, uh, the new games of these days seem to find themselves being in a free format and then allowing users to uh, be able to buy things as they go. So really interesting things, but yeah. Epic rides like Cap Ventur, um, Slevio, um, another climb they have here. You know, I'm sure Alp is coming at some point. So, all right, everybody, great job. Those following along, hope you really got a lot out of that. The idea, remember, sometimes it's not always to hit those high wattages, but to work on skills especially on recovery days, recovery weeks, days that you're not looking for intensity, working below your FTP threshold and working on skills. Single leg drive, high cadence, low cadence, things like that are really gonna make your workouts all around. All right, we got about a minute and a half till we had to cool down. One thing a reminder, make sure you're hydrating. Don't overfuel these workouts. You're looking at 53 minutes, under an hour. Try water only and get a real meal in after this. I think you'll be really happy with yourself giving that a try. Intensity is not very high. It's not over FTP. So just respect yourself and see how you do. Great thing about indoor cycling is that it allows you to test things. And if you end up hungry, you're just a couple steps away, hopefully from the kitchen. All right, we've got a minute left. I want to thank everybody for joining in. I want to thank Road Grand Tours for giving us a chance to put us in beta. 
give our viewers a chance to see what's going on here. I want to thank the TeamODZ.com for letting us stream this to their YouTube channel, their Facebook group. And of course, you can find us at EnduranceLab.fit. And of course, the Road Grand Tours Facebook beta group, the user group. Keep everybody tuned up to what's happening. And then I will see everybody in the next workout. Thanks for joining in.